is up everybody welcome back to the channel and as always thanks so much for clicking on this video if you're new to my channel welcome I am the Mustang Hunter hopefully you like my content and stick around long enough to become part of the Mustang Hunter family by smashing that little subscribe button at the bottom as well as that notification bell so you can stay notified for all my videos so in the description box my playlist is always going to be down there for you to check out it's going to have my peg hunting videos as well as my free up friday videos which today is friday so happy friday hopefully everybody had a great week hopefully some of y'all found some p case releases or even some q case depending on where you're at so the car i'm showcasing for you guys today is from jada it is part of the big time muscle this is the 2008 Ford Shelby GT500 KR, which stands for King of the Road in black. Now, this isn't a new cast. It is a re-release for 2020. I have the original one that I bought back in 2013 right here. You can tell the big difference in the hard case. Um, even the lineup's a lot different. You can see the year right here, 2013 Jada Toys, where this one is 2020 Jada Toys right there at the bottom. Now with this series, you got the 69 ZL1 in red and the 69 Camaro in green and gold. Um, we'll show you the series that this had. This had the 65 Shelby Cobra, 69 Camaro, 69 Chevelle, 69 ZL1, 70 Boss 429, and of course the GT500. Now out of all these, I do have the 65 Shelby. It is a nice burnt orange and black. I also do have the 70 Boss 429 in blue, and then the 69 Camaro in green and gold. It's good to see that the Mustang and the Camaro are still coming out together and as well as the Corvette stayed in the lineup. Everything else fell off of it. So that's the only difference between the 2013 release and the 2020 is the case and the lineup. But the thing I like is the detail that is put into this car but I haven't really looked at it up close so we're going to go ahead and take it out of the case so we can look at it even closer with some nice lighting. Now, if you try to open up my 2013 case, you're going to need razor blades and scissors and all kinds of things. All right, guys, look at that. Nice gloss black. Does have a somewhat metallic gold stripe down the center. The side rocker stripe that says GT500 KR right there in the bottom. And, of course, the GT500 Snake. Um, moving on to the front, you do have some basic headlight tampa work. It's just silver. Nothing too impressive, nothing highly detailed, but I do like the fact that they were still able to incorporate the running snake inside the grill, um, as well as the Shelby letters that run across this hood. Now this hood was special for the KR. It was all carbon fiber, not like the aluminum hood on the GT500s, and it did have some really nice heat extractors up top with the huge nostrils in the front. This isn't one of the KR colors. They only came in four colors, uh, which was silver with Vista blue stripes. Then you had the reverse Vista blue with silver stripes, Colorado red with silver stripes, and then ebony black with satin ebony stripes. Really nice wheels on here. You can see it looks like a two piece. You got the black five spoke wheels with the polished lip with the staggered deep dish in the rear. Look how massive those back tires are. The rear end is shortened, of course. You got nice basic tampa works for the taillights, but at least they're detailed. And of course, you got the GT500 Snake and the Shelby riding along the trunk. If you look on the inside, you do have two speakers and an amplifier sitting on that rear deck lid. Um, the interior, you could barely see, but it's just a standard black interior. Um, nothing too fancy. Um, now the bottom is all black. It is metal and you can actually unscrew this in case you wanted to do some type of custom work, take it apart, wheel swap it, whichever you want. In 68 they came out with the KR but it was called the 68 Shelby Cobra because they actually used the 428 Cobra motor in there so they actually tied Cobra into the Mustang name. Um, for this 2008 they didn't use the Cobra it was just a Shelby GT500. All they did was get the GT500 from factory, take it over to Vegas. They did some tweaks and tunes to the motor, which was the 5.4 liter V8 supercharged, putting out 540 horsepower, which was the fastest produced Mustang at this time. Back in 68, when Shelby came up with the KR, he didn't come up with the name. He took it from GM. GM was actually creating a car and he heard that they were gonna use King of the Road in one of their lineups. I don't know which one it is, but he went ahead and jumped the gun on GM, went, did licensing, took the name, and actually put it with the GT500. So I'm real curious on what GM was going to make the king of the road. Might have been a Corvette, might have been something else. I don't know what it is. 
um, but still a really cool fact in history um, on how the industry was back in the day of who's gonna get the fastest car out there, who's gonna put their name out there first. Uh, when they came out with the 2008, they were only gonna make 1,000 units, but they sold so well that they continued it in 2009. Last time they used the Cobra on the Mustang was in 2004 for the final lineup for the Terminator, um, which was 2003 to 2004. That was the very last time they used the Mustang Cobra as a name. A lot of people still call these a Shelby Cobra, which it's not. It's just a Shelby GT500 or 350 or even just the Shelby GT, which was the non-supercharged version of the Shelby. Let me know down below what you think of this cast and of course what you want to see in future videos. If there's a specific cast that you want me to open and give a good review as well as a little bit of history which I like to give in all my free at Friday videos. Again, thanks for all the new subscribers, all the love. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and of course, until next time, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.